Dancing mania, also known as dancing plague, was a social phenomenon that occurred primarily in mainland Europe between the 14th and 17th centuries. It involved groups of people dancing erratically, sometimes thousands at a time. The mania affected men, women and children, who danced until they collapsed from exhaustion. Affecting thousands of people across several centuries, dancing mania was not an isolated event, and was well documented in contemporary reports. It was nevertheless poorly understood, and remedies were based on guesswork. It is thought to be a mass psychogenic illness in which the occurrence of similar physical symptoms with no known physical cause affect a large group of people as a form of social influence. In one incident in 1278, 200 people danced on a bridge over the river Meuse in Germany, resulting in its collapse. One of the biggest outbreaks occurred in July 1518 in Strasbourg, when a woman named Frau Toffi began dancing in the street. Within four days she had been joined by 33 others, and within a month there were 400, many of whom suffered heart attacks and died. Contemporary sources say that some people paraded around naked, some even had sexual intercourse, others acted like animals and jumped, hopped and leaped about. They hardly stopped, and some danced until they broke their ribs and subsequently died. Throughout, dancers screamed, laughed or cried, and some sang. One quote from the period states, It was said that dancers could not stand the colour red, often becoming violent on seeing it. Another quote from the period states that dancers could not stand pointy shoes. Throughout, those affected by dancing mania suffered from a variety of ailments, including chest pains, convulsions, hallucinations, hyperventilation, epileptic fits and visions. In the end, most simply dropped down, overwhelmed with exhaustion. Some ended up in a state of ecstasy. Sources agree that dancing mania was one of the earliest recorded forms of mass hysteria, and describe it as a psychic epidemic, with numerous explanations that might account for the behaviour of the dancers. It has been suggested that the outbreak may have been due to a cultural contagion, triggered in times of particular hardship by deeply rooted popular beliefs in the region regarding angry spirits capable of inflicting a dancing curse to punish their victims. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this short educational video.